Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Rogue Trader with me, Bragaton. Check out the next system, Latotian's Passage. Unidentified ruins. Check out this planet first. And I guess do the ship battle too. So we don't have a ton of adamantine. I think that's worth grabbing because it seems fairly rare. And wonders of nature. This lone mountain chain is composed entirely of a mineral with a shiny mirror-like surface. The mineral itself has no particular value for production but its properties make this place incredibly beautiful. The sky is brilliantly reflected in the many surfaces of the plateaus, oddly-shaped rocks, stone arches, and columns. The view is especially stunning on clear starry nights, or when aurora trails dance in the sky. The enraptured crew have asked the Lord Captain's permission to visit this remarkable place. I grant shore leave. Morale is important. The shore leave passed without incident. The ship's officers talked about it for weeks afterward. The place made a particular impression on Lady Hydari. She could be heard saying over and over, this would make a fine spot for a palace, and pity you can't bring highborns here on tours. Unknown ships. As soon as you draw close to the unknown ship, it points its loaded cannons directly at you. Several other ships emerge from the shadows of drifting asteroids, tightly encircling you. Captain Xanthan Labouche offers a mocking greeting and a proposition. You can buy your way out of this. The price must be to her sole satisfaction. The outrageous suggestion sends your crew into a fury. You're in a no-win scenario. You can enter an uneven fight and lose everything, or shamefully pay to save your skin, sacrificing only your pride. Inform the pirates that daring to threaten a rogue traitor will not go unpunished. Captain Labouche makes her displeasure quite apparent, but acknowledges that it would not be in her interest to cross the rogue traitor. The nameless ships retreat swiftly into the warp, leaving you alone. Oh, I was hoping at most a few ships would flee and would even the odds a little more, but I still wanted to fight them. But I'll take the handful of experience and go to this dead world instead. Unidentified Ruins. You look Imperial to me. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. I offer my thanks to the Omnisaya for granting me the ability to serve you as a uh, predator whose knowledge, prey is knowledge. Excuse me. The ruins vaguely resemble the architecture of the Imperium, and yet there is some subtle difference to these structures. Okay. I always have a backup plan. I was thinking it would be cool if, depending on which origin you select, so like I chose Commissar, but you can also choose noble or crime lord if you got an extra companion they don't really need to have dialogue or anything but for instance the commissar could get an ogren companion that acts like it's his bodyguard and maybe the noble gets a servant companion Let us not dawdle. i'm not injured i'm enraged something goes wrong Shockwave hits you instead of the blockage. I failed. I better myself there we go. through my service. Third time's the charm. Oh, hello. Ah. 
I always keep my options See? open. Right there. So we could loop around. I guess there's a reason not to, real quick. Keep your wits about you. Then we'll check out whatever that is. The remains of unknown structures are haphazardly strewn about the plateau. Cracked Xeno chest. Small chest made from a strange material that has no keyhole or any other openings. The murky crystal on the lid is cracked but continues to glow inscrutably. Rise to the top or get left in the dust. I guess I'm glad I went this way then. I'm guessing the chest has something to do with this area. Look, over there. Alright, let's uncover the pattern. A single look at this strange pattern is enough to send your mind reeling. I always have a backup plan. This human skeleton is curled up in a natural position. It is inside a void suit with the hole burned right through it. Cracked Vox. A furious male voice is coming from the old Vox. This is Captain Trevor Durhath, or, T or Durith, like calling the Bullion. Or Bullion. <laughs> get your arses back to the surface and get me out of here, you craps. My guts may be fused to my suit, but I'm not dead yet, no matter how much you wish it were otherwise. A moment later, the raging tone gives way to strangled rasping. Hey, can any of you hear me? Respond. I'll pay double. Just don't leave me here. Darn it. It was going so well. We even figured out how to open the first sphere thanks to the pattern on the floor. Yeah, yeah. Who knew there'd be so much trouble with the second one? I didn't. They didn't either. Cowards. The moment that beam was directed back, I was already lying with my guts turned inside out. They were running off with my goods. Oh, Emperor you Horson, why do you leave me like that? I'm scared. Oh, yes, yes. No, I don't want to die. Not alone. Aren't you supposed to watch over all your children? Quiet. Quiet, you lot. Shut it already. I can't even hear myself. The recording is silent for a few moments. All you can hear is the sound of someone pounding the shell of a void suit with the recording device. I'm cold. I wonder if I'll die from lack of oxygen, or my organs give out earlier. The darn god. The darn imperium. In the end, you all serve the true masters. The human speech gradually deteriorates into an indecipherable mixture of howling and clicking sounds. Someone has carved a strange pattern on the floor. As you look at the lines, a fog descends over your mind. Is there money to be made? Did he turn into a Xenos or a Chaos Spawn? Let's quick save and see what this is all about. <sighs> Temporary setback. Are you certain you know what you're doing? I have no idea. Uh, the beacon SciTech belongs to the ancient Xenos called Craves. Oh, monstrosities who enhance their mental control over entire planets with the use of such devices. Well, let's uh, take I care of these injuries real quick. Service. Ah, I won't forget this. This wound will make a fine scar. We function as one. While I'm thinking about it, I need to re-equip Argenta with some flame grenades. We are the spearhead of the Imperium. Let's patch you up. Guess I'm still alive. Yep, keep you guys in the fight. Sorry, fire grenades, not flame grenades. Hmm. 
My name is Biona, and I'm not food. My name is Biona, and I am not food. My name is Biona, and I... I am food for the true masters of space. Always keep your eye on the price. All right. So I'm going to redirect the energy beam. Let's look at this box thing again. Thanks to the pattern on the floor. Uh, someone's had a thorough brainwashing. How about we make ourselves scarce before we start singing praises of these new masters? Okay, I see. So we want to make a star shape, right? We have five points. Oh, uh, so it's gonna just eat that one. Okay. Let me see. We got to draw a star. If we see that as the. One, two, three, four? That gonna work? Probably not. But we'll try. Yeah, so we can't hit that one first. We have to loop all the way around, right? Be the last point. So one, two. That'll work, right? One, two, three, four, five, maybe. Rise to the top. Or I'll try. Get left in the dust. Oh, we can only redirect the one that it goes to. It seems the pattern no longer works. So that's the first pattern. We have to make this one. I thought. Yeah, so maybe I could just trace it. Maybe, okay. I think it's easier than I'm making it out to be. And then we don't want to go straight across. Cross, right? Can we redirect it to this one, or is it going to get caught by this one? Oh, there we go. So we should probably quick save as well. Yeah, I tried to draw a star with it. All I had to do was actually follow the lines on there. Look, in the jaws. Uh, should I walk into the beam? Ancient Four Sword. Sword deals additional side rating damage. I wonder how that compares to uh, Heinrichs's. It's better. Do anything else special? Look like it. All right, well, we're done here. I always keep my options open.
I'm guessing. It looks like we could go a little further in. Is there money to be made? Probably shouldn't. Now yeah, we can interact with this, hold on. Oh, no, mind. it was just the where we picked up the sword. So what about this chest that we picked up? Was that used in the puzzle? I just didn't catch it. Yeah, I lost uh, cracks in the chest. Okay. I always have a backup plan. Well, that was neat. So we've knocked out all of these systems. Maybe we go down this way, since it's close to Furibundus, and do Platinum Stelos and Cradle of Kepri. We have to go down this way. Uh, one of the macro cannon clans has sounded the alarm. The base ventilation systems have brought in the miasmas of some terrible disease that is killing dozens by the minute. Even more horrifying, the dead are rising to their feet and attacking the living while some of the corpses are losing their human forms altogether, turning into unspeakable warp beasts. It would be suicide for the troops to storm the bay. Only the fearless Lord Captain and his retinue can stop this plight. Which seems a little silly, but sure. It means I get to fight more, I'll be the chosen one. How do we get back up? Of course, these guys have all the good cover. Uh, she might be able to do something from right here. We're going to do it this way, so we can buff everybody up with Abelard. I'll do it. Well, that's better when we're closer to enemies, but... be all right all right front line right there I don't want to put well maybe right there for the over penetration and back line where we're currently standing it wants to rotate all I do is turn horizontal and I can cover where we're standing but Am I getting paid for this? Alright, we'll buff up that guard. At your back and call. I couldn't quite get to the front line section or zone. What if I move that back a bit? that up a little more and Haskell will not do our opening salvo because I used his buff instead <laughs> whoops all right here we go The old 
Alright, so his armor should have just skyrocketed, right? It looks like only 6%. It's 1 per... 1% 1 per, uh... Two times number removed exploits percent armor. Should have been four, right? Should have been six. Or, sorry, eight. Request approved. Let's see to it. Everyone, step aside. Glory. Oh, I'm on the front line. Oh, the turret is active. I thought it was destroyed. I feel like the variety of fights we're in, and they kind of play out all the same, but like this time we have guards backing us up. And then we had the fight on the bridge with all the officers helping out. And we have a turret helping us out this time. Guided by faith. The Emperor commands, I act. I should probably swap this with this and put my movement abilities at the end. I'll do it. As the Emperor commands, each strike is a prayer. Who oh, if not me? So I want to get him into melee. You never stood a chance. Hey, those don't look like allies. Just out of range. Well, that's unfortunate. Wait. We can reach him. It's as good as done. Holy terror! Not quite enough. Uh, let's go get this buff out. Naturally. Really want to get in there and use my Thunder Slam. I'm really excited about that prospect. I'll brush this off. Trying to get him into the middle of everybody. Target well struck. Pain and duty go hand in hand. So the defensive stance would be really good here, too. Lord Captain, buddy. I'm a 
I know what I'm All right, doing. Let's put the front line up here. Can't move it. That's disappointing. I can do that with the right incentive. You've got a problem? I've Argenta got a can put in a lot of work here too. We have a few options. I think Argenta is actually our best bet. Let's do... This. Ablar's going to take a hit for us. That's okay for what Argenta's about to do. I'll do it. This is unacceptable. I don't want to hit... Heinrichs, he can't take the hit. <laughs> Alright, good job, Argenta. That was a good turn. Oh, we're not done! Oh, that's exciting. Alright, let's go ahead and buff up uh, Heinrichs a bit more for better crit chance. And let's look and see what his resolve is at. 28. And it's one for one, right? Now, oh, where's it at? It's uh, Sanctified Slayer. Yeah, it's up by 28%. Bomb it. Good job, guys. Come forward. As the tactical imperative dictates. It's also important to move that right here because the more he kills, the bigger the a bonus for the other zones. Alright, so his armor... Yeah, 64%. He just got... Okay. Nice. Now, once I get him some heavy armor, which I don't want to trade him... I have that one useless talent right now because he's not in heavy armor. I assume because he had access to that talent that he would have heavy armor proficiency starting out. Uh, who doesn't have it? Does no one else have it? Yeah, go ahead and, uh, I guess, buff up Abelard. He'll be going next anyway. How do I... What the position? Emperor I guess here and then charge this guy. Now, let's charge him instead. I have let's an idea. Nice. Turns out it's a pretty good idea. And they're both in the frontline zone, so that's further increased. So if we look at the buff for that, it should have gone up a fair bit, right? Versatility is at how many stacks? Four out of a thousand. Yeah, so right now, frontline, I guess you can't see how much it's being buffed up, but get 29% bonus to armor, and all enemies suffer 29% more damage from any source. Pretty ridiculous. Our builds are starting to really come together. But there is a lot, a lot of stuff going on, so I do need to constantly go back and look and make sure things are working how they're supposed to. Plus, it's fun to see the numbers go up. I will endure. 
Alright, so I don't want to hit Heinrichs. I can position her right. Let me, is it? That's alright. This will work too, I think. The enemies of the Emperor will be undone. Well, I guess she is uh, adjacent to that guy. A smidge that way. As the Emperor commands, Rebel and Slaughter. Act. Devastating attack and. <laughs> oh, she's put in so much work. Doubt is for the weak. I am the tempest. Granted, they're also positioning in a way that I she can. As the Emperor commands, I act. I'll see to it, but I won't object to it. Thirty-two percent. Pretty good. We buff it even further with this, right? Does it keep stacking? So it did go up from thirty-two to thirty-five. Just a minor setback. That's actually sound of it. Victory is imminent. Again, I should use Sworn Enemy first. I will do my duty. To increase the damage. It's... Yeah, plus ten. Not to a target. <laughs> I won't go down nice. Easy. That's a fun little fight. I don't think we lost anybody either. It was helping us defend. Always keep your eye on the price. Oh, this is the same place we fought. Or took, sorry, killed Adira. We didn't really fight her. We fought the demon she summoned, though. Which I had a feeling that was going to happen anyway. She's talking about the voices coming through the door keep and. Your wits about you. She was barely keeping them back. <laughs> It's actually harder for uh, sanctioned psychers to be corrupted because they're soul bound to the emperor. That keeps them a little safer. That's why unsanctioned psychers are big no-no in the, top or get left in in the, the Imperium. Dust. Okay, uh, we'll head towards one of these two next time. Right? Do I? Oh, we still have access to it. How do we get there? This we can chart it, but it's deadly. We don't have a path, right? I guess we have to use our navigator's insight to get there. But once we reach one, we should be able to reach the other one, right? So I'm guessing some of the systems just don't have a a, a warp route. And so we have to kind of brute force it. Okay. I'm fine with that. We'll get back to the bridge and we'll wrap up this episode. And next time we'll try to make it to one of those systems. Okay, I'm going to call it here. Thanks for watching, and hope to see you guys in the next one.